Hello there YouTube, this is Necrostevo and we are here with week 8 of the Pokemon Premier League up against the North Melbourne Kangaskhan, coached by Travesty, finally getting to battle him. Um, he had a fantastic record going into this battle. I think he's only lost one battle at this point, and that was in week 1. So he's just been on a tear ever since then. So I knew my work would be cut out for me, especially with the Weather Wars and him having Terminator Excadrill. Just a lot of things to prepare for in one battle. Now I decided to go with Banded Pangoro. He didn't really have any switch ins to it. Uh, so I figured I'd try to bluff a scarf and go Banded. Uh, I also had a defensive Slow King, mixed Obama Snow, Scarfed Rotom Wash, and Scarf Chandelure because the coverage from those two hit his entire team pretty hard. And a nice Calm Mind Max HP Max Defense Clefable with a Flamethrower to hit the Excadrill if I was in that position. So in this matchup, the lead matchup are really, really determine a lot as far as kind of trying to train him to think my Pokemon had certain items. Because I, I knew if I could kind of handle that, then I could make things go in my favor. I figured he would be expecting Trick Room, so I didn't actually bring it in this matchup. Uh, Trick Room with the Bomb of Snow is really predictable. And I think that's kind of the... I, I This draft, this team that I've drafted, is really allowing me to see the main weaknesses a certain Pokemon in the draft, but it also allows me to play around with expectations. Uh, I did not expect him to bring Quillfish. I really thought that the combination of um, Rotom and, to a lesser extent, Obama Snow would stop him from wanting to do that. But hazard stacking against my team is so easy that I really need to provide offensive pressure to stop him from wanting to go to that option. Now, I expected him to start off with Quillfish, which is why I put, um, I did have Earthquake on my Pangoro, which is really, really nice. Um, as that hits his entire team outside of Latios, and Latios doesn't want to hang around because of knockoff. So that was going to be a, a great option to start off with. I could have just kept Pangoro in there and just gone for uh, a knockoff here, but I wanted him to think that, um, I don't know, I was just trying to control expectations here. So I switch out, and that turns out to be the poor play, because if I had just stayed in and gone for a knockoff, that would have made him think that I was scarfed. But I was also fearing him to be Scarfed, as Clefable is the easy switch in right here. Uh, so figuring he'd go for some spikes there, I just go out into Rotom. I don't have the Psy Shock on Clefable. I decided to put Flamethrower on there instead, so we're Calm Mind, Moonlight, Moonblast, uh, and Flamethrower. And that's just not the best set to have here. We're going to switch around a lot trying to get something in here, and I was going, okay, he'll go for Psychic. Nope, he goes for Draco Meteor, which means Pangoro gets blasted away into just dust and ashes. That was not... That sucked. That really sucked. Um, if he weren't Life Orb, I actually had a good chance of living it. But now we're going to go out into Obama Snow just for the opportunity to Mega Evolve and threaten with the Ice-type move. If he wants to stay in with minus two special attack, he can't KO me with anything. And uh, that's actually pretty nice because here I was expecting him to go into Tyranitar. <clears throat> so I go straight for Earthquake because the ice move seemed a little bit obvious. Now, with Adeno coming in here, I really expected him to Mega Evolve and stay in. And so let's go for Blizzard. Yeah! No, he goes route into Tyranitar. I could have gone for another Earthquake. Would have been nice. Would have been really nice. I do hit Blizzard through Sandstorm, which is pretty amazing. Uh, your accuracy with Blizzard is actually reduced in Sandstorm and Sunny day so that was amazing that I hit it all he goes straight for rock slide probably just trying to go for the neutral coverage there but since I'm a scarf Rotom I don't take that very well at all and I, I had signal beam on my Rotom I just wasn't ballsy enough to use it I could have used it it would have done a, a, a little chunklet to Tyranitar and it would have severely hurt this Latios but I just went for hydro pump because I wasn't real I was not real enough in that moment to go for it um, and I had it. I don't know. What was the point of putting it on there if I wasn't going to use it? So right here, we're going to go into my Clefable there just to try to switch in on the Latios. He predicts that and goes out into Quillfish. He's just going to get up more entry hazards against me this way, guys. This is not a good look. Uh, now I have a layer of spikes and toxic spikes up against my team with no way to remove either one. So I can go for Scald here. I could have gone for Psyshock. I went for Scald expecting Tyranitar to come back in. Not only would that give me an opportunity to burn it, but I would have done a 
of course he would have been immune to the psychic type move. So now we have two layers of spikes up and tox and one layer of toxic spikes that I God, just no, no, nothing good happening right now. We're gonna go out into my Obama Snow just because I can kind of threaten him a little bit better from this position, especially now that he's burned. Uh, he doesn't have a good blizzard switch in outside of maybe Imbor, but he also doesn't have a good reason to switch to. Um, I am kind of pressuring him between the, the burn and the hail damage now, but it doesn't really matter because he outspeeds me. He can just go for poison jab. So that's what he's going to do. I knew I could live it since he's burned and I was going to go for Giga Drain. Yeah, that's going to KO him. I get back enough HP to live uh, the burn for another couple more turns. And I finally get a KO against this team. But now I have to play so carefully because switching out at this point is a very tenuous affair. If I switch out now, of course, um, and, and I, I wasn't paying attention. I, I was like, okay, he's probably going to go for Pursuit because it doesn't make sense to switch in. I could have gone for Ice Shard and gotten a little bit more damage because if I switched out, then I would have died to the entry hazards. So um, the Hydro Pump doesn't really do any damage, honestly. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it does damage. It's just not enough to matter against the Tyranitar, which is clearly more of a specially defensive build. We're going to go on to Clefable now and go for Calm Mind, knowing that he's going to want to go into Excadrill. But I know I can chew any one hit from Excadrill. I can just eat him up as long as he doesn't get the Choice Bandit boosted Iron Head off. But I doubt he'd be Choice Bandit in this situation. So take the Iron Head, go for Flamethrower. Don't get a chance to go for Flamethrower because he flinches. So that sucks. Uh, yeah, so that I could have at least knocked out two Pokemon in this battle. If that, were, if that were the situation, but it is not. And so I'm have to switch out, take a lot more damage on my Slow King. I do take that Iron Head pretty nicely. The Sandstorm's going to end, so that means I can go for the Slack Off or go for a Scald. I figured well, I should probably get my HP back because at this point, yeah, I, I'm kind of running out of options. But at the same token, I could also get a burn on something like Tyranitar. So I hit the Latios as it comes in, don't get the burn kind of sucks. I really wish I had gone for Signal Beam when I was in a position to do so earlier because now that would have meant that Latios would have been out of the way. Uh, I have to switch out into Clefable and it doesn't matter because he just can outspeed and go for Psy Shock. but I need the HP on my Slowking. I need to switch out and get that HP back. Uh, so Clefable goes down and so that means I have an opportunity here to go back into my Slowking here, take basically enough damage from spikes to put me back where I was after before I switched out. I really overestimated the 33% from switching out there. Um, we're just going to slack off here expecting him to roost and I don't actually have a good way to hit him. I'm going to go for Scald hoping I can burn him. I could have gone out into my Chandelure there because he doesn't know that I'm Scarfed and yeah that, that didn't help out at all here. I'm going to go for Toxic finally. Finally I had many opportunities to go for this early on. Um, I can't hit take a crunch from Tyranitar. I can't switch out because, of course, Chandelure is also weak to crunch. I don't have Protect. So at this point, we're just going to sit in here and hope that I can live a crunch, which I know I can't. Um, yeah, kind of unfortunate there. Slowking goes down, played very valiantly during the match despite my horrible misplays. And Chandelure is all I have left. I went for Energy Ball, expecting him to just stay in. I could have gone for Shadow Ball because I did think in the back of my head, he's probably gonna wanna switch out here to save his differential. But I, at that point, I was kind of just clicking things. So I went for Energy Ball. He smartly goes into Latios to save his differential. And that means now I'm stuck on Energy Ball doing nothing against the Latios there. Unless I get a critical hit, nope. Not even a crit would save me. I get the Paltry Special Defense drop, which does nothing too. So just, just annoying all around. Um, so while Travis played amazing during that match. I played terribly. So he is the one who gets the very, very nice 5-0 differential. I would have liked to get the KO on Excadrill. That would have been a nice moral victory because that was a whole reason of putting Flamethrower on Clefable in the first place. But eh, you, that's what happens sometimes. Um, sorry this battle is so late. I had a lot of work crap going on uh, two weeks ago now at this point. So uh, yeah, we're hopefully going to get caught up here. My next match is up against Don and the uh, Norwich Skitty. So that'll be an interesting battle. And I will talk to you guys later. Hopefully playing next time a little bit better. But in the meantime, have a great week. Goodbye now.